Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Sweden, JYSK Stanger title, The Northern Wind. The unraveling of JYSK in Sweden once upon a time, in the land of the Vikings, a company named JYSK was born. This retail giant spread its wings across Europe and established itself as a household name in Sweden. For decades, Swedes relied on JYSK for their home furnishings needs. But one day, the unthinkable happened. News broke that JYSK Stanger or JYSK is closing. The Swedish public was left stunned and confused. Why would such an established brand close its doors? A group of investigative journalists from Stockholm decided to delve deeper into this mystery. They started at ground zero, talking to ex-employees and customers about their experiences with JYSK. The employees spoke about dwindling sales numbers over recent years while many customers expressed dissatisfaction with declining product quality and service levels. Digging further into financial reports, they found out that JYSK had been underperforming compared to other furniture retailers in Sweden like IKEA and Mio. High operational costs coupled with low profit margins were impacting the business severely. But it wasn't just financial factors that were causing distress. There were also significant cultural issues at play here too. Unlike other Scandinavian brands which had integrated sustainability as part of their business models, JYSK seemed to be lagging behind. Sweden is known for being environmentally conscious. It's even been ranked as one of the most sustainable countries globally several times by different indices. Therefore, it wasn't surprising when some Swedish consumers confessed they had switched to more eco-friendly brands because they felt that JYKS hadn't done enough regarding environmental responsibility. The investigators also found out about mismanagement within the company's top brass, which resulted in poor strategic decisions leading to lost market share against competitors like IKEA, who adapted quickly by digitizing their sales model while offering affordable yet stylish products resonating well with younger Swedish consumers. In the end, it became clear that JYSK's closure in Sweden was a culmination of financial strains, cultural misalignment with Swedish consumer values, and inability to adapt to market changes. This tale served as a stark reminder for other businesses about the importance of staying true to one's core values while continuously evolving with changing times and consumer preferences. The JYSK Stanger mystery unraveled itself, not as an abrupt event, but rather as a result of multiple factors slowly eating away at the company's foundations. It served as a cautionary tale for others in business. Success requires constant adaptation and understanding your audience. Neglect.